today we will be creating a new project, work order, and design in SiteWorks. From the main work screen, we will go over to the menu button up here at the top left hand corner, select project setup, change project. Here we will open up to the open project window. First thing we're going to do is create a new project by coming to the plus sign, clicking on that and we will name our project. Today we will name it Training House Pad. Ensure that all the settings for the measurements are correct, then hit Next. This will bring us to the project creation options. Here we will only load a control point file. This will allow the control points to always be visible on your design. check the box and tap in the window. With your thumb drive inserted into your data collector, we'll hit this drop down arrow, select DUSB disk. From here we will find the folder that houses all of our information, select it, and then select our CSV file, which is our control point file, and hit accept. Once that is displayed in this window, hit finished. The next thing we're going to do is create a work order. So by creating a work order, we will go to the plus sign and name our work order. The work order is where all the work that you do will be housed. Work orders are used as a library to house all the information and work that is done on your project. You can create multiple work orders in one project to allow you to be able to separate any work that you may need to separate. The next thing we're going to do is create a design. Come over to the plus sign here. The first thing we'll do is name our design. After we've named the design, we're going to check the box and select design file. Your design file is the TTM file that you will be using for the surface of your project. Once here, ensure that we're at USB disk and find the folder where your information is housed. Hit accept and then find our TTM. Hit accept. The next thing we'll look at is our design line work. The design line work is the DXF file that you'll be using which houses all your line work. USB disk, find a folder that our information is in, hit accept, and we'll highlight the DXF file that we will use and hit accept again. All right, at this point, if you have a, an additional CSV file with any stakeout points that you may want to use, you can load that here by checking this box and then tapping in this window. Unfortunately, we do not have an additional stakeout points. All we have is our control field right here, which we've already loaded. Once you have your TTM and your DXF, you'll hit finished. Now that you've created your project, created your work order and created your design, you can hit accept. Your project has now been created and ready to go to work. Like this video? Give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, click subscribe for instant access to updates and new videos. Also, check the description for links to additional support files and content. And as always, thanks for watching.